Hey guys, this is Rob from Classic Car Living. We're here at the Auto Show in Miami Beach, and behind me is Memory Lane. Memory Lane is an area where they bring all the classic cars to the show so people can take a look at what the history of the old cars look like. Let's go take a look at some of these cars. All right, so let's start with this 1975 Mini Cooper. This thing looks pretty interesting. What do you guys think of this? Looks like it has a soft top. Right hand driver. Hard to tell though, with the glass closed, but. So now we have this 1974 TR6. The condition of this car is absolutely gorgeous. You got the red lines. Look at the paint job and the color. Gorgeous. Now check out this 1971 280 SL. All of these cars are members of the AACA, which is the Antique Automobile Club of America, the Miami chapter. So every year you're able to bring your car to the auto show if you'd like. And if you get chosen, you get to keep the car here for the length of the auto show, which is like two weekends. I did my cars, both my cars, the last couple years, and it's really nice to showcase your car. All right, let's see if you guys know what this is. This is a 1973 IKA Torino. Seems like a pretty rare car. I've never seen this car before. Looks gorgeous. Let's see if we can peek in. Windows are closed on all these cars because they don't want people to go in them, but. Another gorgeous color and the paint is amazing. It's a Renault. Oh, here we go. If you guys can smell what I smell, it smells so awesome. Vintage. 1969 280SL Mercedes. All these cars are in mint condition, mint condition. Let's take a look. Wow. It's gorgeous. Oh, check out the hard top of this car. So you can, very nice. So the car show ends tomorrow and outside we have our Mustangs. Let's see who knows what type of car this is. This is best in show by the way. I want you guys to put in the comments if you know what it is. All right, I'm gonna tell you, it's a 1973 Citroen. DS. This car is the best in show. Let's look at this interior. Nice and slow so you guys can see how amazing this is. And there's the award for it. We'll take the other side. Look at this paint job. This car is about $250,000 is what I'm being told. And it is incredible. Let's check out the award. I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it. But it is crazy. Let's take another look at this because it's 
1971 Olds 442. This thing is sick. Let's take a look at this hood. Look at that. The red on this car is popping and under these lights is crazy. Look at this. Let's see if, uh, oh, the window is not open. All right, so I've been told that I can actually go into these cars. So since I am an AACA member, I'm very careful, but look how nice these cars are. All right, now we have this 1970 GTO. So I was told, oh, we've seen this one. It's like the judge. Let's take the interior. So I was told by the group that if the cars are closed, because I'm an AACA member, I can be very careful and open the door so I can get a just shot of the interior. So I will do that, but very respectfully. Let's start here with a 1970 Chevelle. Ricardo from our Mustang group is the owner of this car. He owns many cars, including a 19, 60, I don't know what. He has a bullet car. He's got the tents. Windows open, so let's hop inside. Next, we have a 1969 Chevy Chevelle SS. So the door is closed, so I will make sure to not leave, leave any fingerprints. So let's take a look real quick. And here we have uh, 1969 Mach 1 S code, which has a 390. This is our friend Bruno who owns this car. Beautiful condition. You guys know I am a Mustang guy, so this is absolutely gorgeous. And his car is closed, so Bruno, sorry, but I'm gonna open your car. Let's take a look inside. All right, and here's a 1969 Chevy Camaro convertible. We've seen this one before, the pace car. Look how nice this thing is. I'll go on the interior on the other side. I love this color combination. Let's fly it in like a drone. Check out the pattern on these seats. Awesome. Okay, so next is this 1969 Chevy C10. Kind of the same color as the Camaro that we just saw. So this year we have 48 cars in memory lane, which is I'm being told the largest amount of classic cars we've ever had in this show. Let's take a look at this bed. All right. We 
windows closed. So we will take a quick little peek. With the bench seat. Here's a 1969 Jaguar. I gotta show the hood because I think it's really cool. Look at all, look at that long nose. I'm coming back just to show you how long that nose is. Can you tell? It's very cool. And here's a 1968 Hemi GTX. As you can see, the GTX right there. Look at the paint job on all these cars. It's pretty crazy. American muscle right here. All right, we're gonna open up again. Let's take a look. I love the smell of old cars. All right, here we go, 1967 427 Corvette. This is the beast of the beast. Look at that, hard top. Wow. Wow is all I can say. Guys, let's go inside this one. Slowly, wow, smooth. If you guys can feel the way this door opened, feels like it was out of factory, super smooth. Look at this, I don't know if you can hear it. Wow. Here we go with a 1965 Lincoln Continental. This looks a little bit resto modded. Check out these rims and tires. Convertible, this color is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Wait till you see the interior on this. Look at the size of this car. So this is the best of the best. All these cars here are just in amazing condition. Beautiful classic cars, kept up, and it's great to see the history of these cars still alive. Mustangs like I like them. 1964 and a half. Mustang. Tony the Hitman owns this. So this is his Mustang. For you guys who've been following my channel, I always give him a hard time because he's always with his rat rod truck and he's forgotten about the Mustang Club. But now for the auto show, he decided to bring out the Mustang. So Let's take a look inside. I love the white interior. Tony, you need to bring this out more and leave that truck at home. 1964 Rolls Royce. Wow. All I can say is amazing. Look at this paint job. This is insane. Look at that. All right, so we can look inside this one. Both doors are open. So let's take a look. Oh, it's a right-hand driver. Let's take it to the front. 
The smell, oh, I love the smell. I'm telling you, I just love the smell of old cars. Look at that detail. Now look at the back seat of this thing. That is luxury. That is luxury. Here we got this 1966 Spitfire. I love that sticker. Scratch but don't sniff. Paint job looks amazing. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this car show. And also let me know if you want to see any type of cars for my next videos. I'm here to make videos that entertain you guys. So let me know. All right, so this 1964 bug is probably one of the nicest bugs I've ever seen. This is owned by Hector. I'll put his Instagram page so you can follow him, but this car is amazing. Look at the color on that. With the color combination, convertible. Who loves VWs? This is the nicest bug I think you're ever gonna see. I'm gonna bring it all the way around because it's so nice. Staying with the VWs, we got a 1964 VW bus, which you've seen in the past. Also in mint condition. Look at how nice. Got the luggage up there. So it's closed. So I'm just gonna open it real quick. Oh, he has it closed. Peek through this little window. All right, we have this 1964 Thunderbird. Not sure if you guys have seen this video, but I did a whole story on it. This car is absolutely gorgeous. Paint job is beautiful. The interior looks like an airplane. If you wanna see more details about this car and the owner's story, take a look at my channel and you'll see a whole video on it. Dímelo. So this one, the steering wheel moves out of the way so you can slide it. Look at that. Go take a look at my channel and see the video. It's really interesting. All right, we got a 1955 Buick. I believe this one is owned by the AACA past president, Manny. It's convertible. Look at the lines on these cars. Look, look at the bumpers. They just don't make cars like this anymore. Look at all those details. Look at that. Let's go inside. Nineteen fifty five Cadillac. As I always say, it's a cream puff. Convertible. Look at this thing. I've also highlighted this car in the past. But in this condition, with this lighting, it just does it so much justice. It just looks amazing. Look at the wings on these things. Wow. Let's go in. Take a look at the details. Bench seat. El Dorado. 
Now we have this 1964 Ford Crestline. I don't think I've seen this car before and I'm not sure if I've seen any of these, but very interesting. De look at this detail. It's gorgeous. I love how they cover half of that tire. It just looks unbelievable. Tell me if you guys have seen any of these cars in the past. Give me some comments. Have you owned one? Has your parents owned one? Did you grow up in one? Did your friend have one, a neighbor? This is what this page is about. This is a page about classic cars and everything about classic cars. Memories, that's what it's about. We gotta, why do you like this type of car? Did you have an experience with it? Let me know. This is a 1937 Alvis. Look at this car. Look at the tires on this thing. Nineteen thirty-seven. Just think about that. The fact that this car is still running and is still out here is amazing, and that's what classic cars are about. We got to keep it going for the next generation. Look how cool. That's why I started this page because I want the next generation to enjoy classic cars. All right, I don't want to open this one, but it's a right-hand driver. It looks like the spare tires right here. Ford Model A. I like that green. So yeah, let me know. I love to hear stories and that's why I do these things. I want to hear people's stories on why they have classic cars. Why do people keep classic cars like this, right? I'm glad they do. Let's take a look here. Alright, so this is, look at this thing, it's a quad cycle. I'm not sure what year it is, but it looks pretty old. Look at this thing. Here we have a 2000 BMW Z8. I know it's not a classic car, but it is in amazing condition and it is in here. I think it's a very rare car. And I've highlighted this one in other videos. Look who's driving. Here we have a 1994 Mustang GT. So the story on this one, this is my cousin's wife's first car. She ended up totaling the car. And for sentimental purposes, she redid the car all over again. So this is Jessica's first car and she is a Mustang lover. I'll be putting your, her Instagram so you guys can follow her. She owns a bunch of Mustangs. And here are all the Mustangs for the show outside of the auto show. Check out this lineup. Got a little bit of everything. Today's the day if you want to see Mustangs. There it is. And there's my two. All right, if you're in the market to buy a 68 Bullet, my buddy Ricardo's selling it. There's this info, check out the, uh, check out this car. It's in beautiful condition. 
call him and ask him.